Hi, I'll uh, try and fit this in amongst uh, Strictly Come Dancing and finish by about 25 past and uh, make it short and sweet, just like me, and uh, cover some nutrition for you. So I'm John, Tri Coach John, um, going to cover the nutrition for Bolton Marathon. Um, thanks Richard for having me. So today we're going to look at um, the basics, what, why and when, and try and cover some of that. And uh, I'll try and give you um, an overarching introduction um, to it. If you've got any questions at all, uh, ping them across, no, no problem. And underneath, I'll have a few links and a few codes for you if you want to try some stuff. I've got some uh, discount codes with different people um, to have a little look and uh, let you try some stuff out. But I'll try and give you some real life um, affordable options some professional kind of manufacturer options as well and then try and explain the reasons why you would potentially consider those um, at those times and, and try and give you a bit of background and a bit of information for you to decide what you really want. So what to eat. So if you've started your training um, and looking at the Facebook page there's a lot of people out there getting out running and I think that's fantastic. So to get out and, and use the winter months, you often find, being, being from a little bit further south in Watford, uh, London Marathon is a, is a spring marathon. And if you don't get out in the winter months, you're gonna find yourself pretty much in trouble um, when the, the days start getting longer and, and warmer um, as the closer it gets to race day. So I know we've got about 27 weeks to go but um, there's no time like the present to get out there and start rehearsing and practicing your, your nutrition and your nutrition plans. So I've kind of got a 16 week training plan um, as a rough guide um, to try and give you an idea of your weekly considerations for your nutrition. So I don't want to dive down into how many grams of calories you burn per body weight or other elements like that. If you want that, then we can have a conversation. Um, but if this video, I don't really want to start diving too deeply into that. So for you to enjoy and get the most benefit from your training at this moment in time, um, if you're doing a shakeout run, a tempo run, some speed work, um, Monday to Friday, then a good idea is to make sure that you fuel appropriately to ensure you have um, the energy inside your body for your body to use it to then achieve your aim, which is then improvement in your fitness. So um, what I would suggest is to drink throughout the day to make sure that you're hydrated correctly. There are numerous websites that will tell you if you're 2% dehydrated it's going to impact your performance by 25% and this and everything else so everybody's different find out what personally works for you if you need to get a massive bottle and have that throughout the day it's a, it's a litre um, if you've got that you can put it back in the fridge to keep it chilled have a drink put it back carry it around with you stick it in the car stick it in the side pouch of your bag, um, whatever you're doing in work, um, and then it gives you the chance to then assess whether you are drinking and making progress or not, yeah, and how you're getting on. But make sure that you're hydrated as you work out through the day. So in that, I would have something, the cheaper end of the market is some squash, um, a more uh, organised approach, shall we say, could be some electrolyte tablets, a whole multitude of flavours, raspberry and pomegranate, absolutely lovely. Pink grapefruit, um, mango and passion fruit. One of the biggest concerns with 27 weeks of training could be flavour fatigue. So make sure you then mix it up and you're not having the same thing. If you just want squash, some Vimto squash, some extra strong lemon, Chop and change it, mix and match it, apple and black currant juice, whatever whatever works for you really. Um, don't try and overdose too much on just water. Um, 
Sparkling water is a good option also. Lots of micronutrients in there. Potassium, magnesium, calcium, sodium, all naturally in there, um, as well as in the electrolyte drinks. So drink as you go along during the day. Um, if you want to use um, a sports drink, um, a little bit like uh, some isoactive from Power Bar, um, then you can always make yourself up a little bottle, um, measures out on the bottom there, you chuck in the powder to there, top it up to whatever strength you want to have it, and then sip that. And you, I would consider that an hour before you're going to run to then make sure you, you're off you go um, and, uh, and enjoy your run. In there you can have your carbohydrates um, and your fluids, and that's one way you may find it convenient to achieve your aim in fueling your run. An alternative um, is then an energized bar, just as it says on the tin, before and after, or before and during, sorry, not after. Um, these are quite good on a bike ride, hence the reason why they're firm. But if you're um, looking for a convenient option, um, you've taken chocolate out of your diet because you want to cut a little bit of weight, sometimes the chocolate alternative in a nutrition bar um, to energize you for your run uh, would be fantastic. Take this about an hour before, absolutely no problem at all as always got to have a vegan alternative okay and lots of the ranges of different manufacturers um, have a vegan option okay you don't have to have pre-packaged from a specific manufacturer um, nutrition two rice cakes um, two uh, dried apricots will give you also enough energy for that for, for a run um, you could consider 40 grams of raisins, if you like raisins. You could consider a banana. You can also have uh, a bagel with honey. So depending on how much um, of a session you're going to do, early out in your training, if it's 30, 40 to 60 minutes, a banana could be cool. If you're going to go and do some speed work, it's going to be a little bit intensive. Then possibly a bagel with some honey, a bagel with some jam, maybe... Um, a crumpet and peanut butter you know get a little bit more oomph in there if you've got a hill session or a a, a speed work session if it's a nice relaxed shake out run and it's just a nice jog then possibly consider just backing it on off a little bit but making sure that you're hydrated before you do so um i would like to suggest as you do your long slow duration runs on a sunday if it fits for you um to fit it in a different day of the week for your long run because it works around um, work, life, family, everything else, then so be it, get into that regular routine. But I'll use the Sunday as the example for the video um, and for this purpose because the race is on a Sunday. So what you then do is you train your body to go through those motions on those days of the week and therefore you will lead into the race that way and there is no surprise that you for all of your training you may have done your long run on a Wednesday and race day comes on a Sunday and it feels out of sync. If that's how it is, that's how it is. We can always adapt. If it's um, best practice, shall we say, to then do that, then I would encourage that. On the Saturday then, if we're going to do our long, slow duration run on a Sunday, I would consider rehearsing my dinner for race day most Saturdays. Now, that doesn't mean to say, John said, I've got to then have um, pasta with some tomato sauce, with some chicken and a little sprinkling of Parmesan cheese, you know, every single Saturday for the next 27 weeks before Bolton Marathon. You can um, explore a few options. Richard will have seen and shown you by now. He, he likes a little bit of pizza. You know, if you're an ultra runner, then that's quite common for somebody of that build, depending on your body type. Potentially depends on how you can process carbohydrates and how um, much you should go for. And we'll cover tapering nutrition on another video. Um, but what I'd like to encourage you to do is to try those meals to find that sweet spot of what works for you. Because rehearse, rehearse, rehearse is really the best way to achieve all of that. So that when it comes down to the Saturday night when you're slightly nervous that tomorrow is the day, 
you you're going to run 26.2 that you're as comfortable with your routine as possible everything is in order you know what you're going to eat when you're going to eat it what you're going to drink when you're going to drink it and you pretty much have this plan already well rehearsed to the point that you're comfortable with it and that's what you want to be you want to enjoy the day to be comfortable with getting to that point of um, being prepared to enjoy the Bolton Marathon so I I would recommend al dente pasta if you're not sure google it how to cook it so it's slightly harder it's a lower glycemic index therefore it will give you longer um, slower release of energy the following day um, I like a bit of chicken I like a tomato base sauce a Lloyd Grossman a little bit of spice a little bit of flavor um, not cheap I know a passata with some chopped tomatoes um, and whatever sprinkling of, of seasoning that you choose it is fantastic um, for the London Marathon I would always go to the same restaurant each year and have their jalapeno chicken I like a little bit of spice it's not for everybody if you're used to spice and you eat a lot of spice it's a little bit like caffeine if that's what you're used to your body's happy with it if you're not used to it then just be very careful before race day hence the rehearse okay parmesan cheese fantastic level of protein there are some fats in there you've got to be careful you can't get the bucket load out but you'll be surprised how much 30 grams of parmesan cheese really is when you put it onto a meal it's a good healthy portion um, and yeah you need some fats so uh, don't don't deprive yourself so just play around with it and see how you get on if I was to suggest that you're having your pasta meal and the family have gone we don't really fancy that well then suggest a dominoes let them have the dominoes have a little bit of garlic bread with your pasta and meat i don't see an extra bit of carbs with a little bit of fats on top being a problem you've got to enjoy it and we want to enjoy the process and we don't want to look like we're depriving ourselves or we can't mix it in with the family themselves it's all got to balance out nicely so um make sure you rehearse those parts cool so we've done during the day we've done beforehand what i'd like to look at now is is what to do after a run so um as soon as i come back in the door i like to have a protein drink um i put my legs up the wall for 10 minutes um i should have learned the name for the yoga position for it but you put you lie on the floor excuse me you put your legs up the wall and you allow gravity to flush um, the, um, the the blood out of the muscles back through the heart and it puts fresh blood back into the muscles and gets rid of all the toxins and the wastes um, and the gravity supports that happening so um, I do that for 10 minutes after every run or, or bike ride um, I come back in and I have my protein shake at that point so you could have a protein shake you can have a protein bar there are, there are enough out there um, if you want clean um, because like me you don't process carbohydrates so well that you don't need as much carbohydrates you can go for a cleaner one but get the protein in um, there's a whole variety of different ones if you like a bit of nuts a little bit of fat is always good um, if you're Mo Farah type body type um, then uh, going going a little bit larger wouldn't, wouldn't wouldn't be a problem, you know. So there are there are options and alternatives there. I personally go to Tesco's, get the one liter of chocolate milk for a pound, and have half a of, of a bottle after each run. So 500 mils, put it on the scales, pour it out, work out half of the bottle if you don't want to do on the scales because you'll have half today and half tomorrow. So if you have a little bit more today or a little bit less today, you'll have the benefits or the or the, the, the forfeit tomorrow after the following day's run. Um, and then I'll have two dates. So make sure if you get dates from Tesco's, um, I like the uh, organic ones. 
um, they, they're a lot nicer and fresher um, make sure you take the pips out and recycle those um, and then have the two dates now the two dates um, if you're dieting and trying to lose weight then the dates will stop your sugar cravings um, if you're um, more athletic and um, enjoying yourselves and you're a little bit trimmer then it will assist you also um, in resupplying the glycogen in your liver and if you're an athlete you've possibly already got that already if you're a sub three hour marathon man you quite possibly know that already if you don't like dates then an alternative is again raisins 40 grams of raisins um, very affordable options very nice you can get some great stuff in the supermarkets and you can shop around not a problem um, I did an exercise for a, a youth group um, about post-exercise nutrition um, and they went to Tesco's, Morrison's, Lidl's, Audi, Asda, um, Sainsbury's and I think the cheapest was Lidl. You could buy four bananas and a four pint of milk um, for £1.42 which if you then had um, a pint of milk and a banana after each run you wouldn't be in a bad place so if you're looking for affordable options a pint of milk and a banana is absolutely fine um, SIS Rego they are trying to scientifically make SIS Rego as close as physically possible to natural cow's milk I, I don't understand it personally but when it's already readily available why not so if you want an affordable option milk and a banana no problem at all the difference between milk and chocolate milk is the cocoa powder and what you'll often find then is is chocolate milk becomes the cheapest affordable quality protein drink you can find in the UK today all right so if you want a Yazoo chocolate you'll find it in any garage let's let's ignore lockdown for now but if you're on the road and you're working, you're out and about, you're busy, any garage, any news agents, any supermarket, there's pretty much anywhere and everywhere that's going to have Yazoo's. If they haven't got chocolate and the cocoa really makes the difference, um, strawberry or banana is better than nothing. So I've got a friend says, John, I don't really like chocolate. Strawberry or banana milk is far better than, than no milk at all. So take, take your pick, find what works for you and fit it into your, we're all individuals. We've all got different uh, likes. Um, and if you have four weeks of chocolate, you say, I've just about had enough of chocolate and you want to change. It doesn't hurt for a week to change. If you want to rotate it through and mix and match it. It's not the end of the world. If you just want plain milk and you love milk, not a problem. If you're, if you're lactose intolerant, then you you possibly will already know an alternative source. Um, and I apologise for not having an example for you now. So making sure you prepare yourself for your run um, and fuel it and, and hydrate beforehand and then come in the door, do your, re, um, do your recovery protocols, um, get your, your drink inside you, get, get um, either a banana or some dates and, and resupply your glycogen. Um, and, and enjoy those benefits. If you're running again tomorrow, then I always have a chamomile tea because it relaxes me and I sleep well, um, and then a tablespoon of honey in there. Now I know um, vegan-wise, um, then they can't have the honey because it's a, an, an animal product, um, but there are so many benefits from honey. It's, it's unbelievable, um, and I absolutely swear by it. Um, but that during the night will also resupply your your glycogen stores to so try and find a source that does that through the night and then you'll find that you're you're more energized and then ready to go for the following day um, to see how you get on so I don't know if I showed before I think I did show, no, I did show the vegan options before so yeah um, several several different options there so um, 
make, making sure that you tick all your little boxes. I don't want to get too in depth. I want to give you some ideas. Um, I am closely associated with Power Bar. However, I will drop in a web link and discount code for Com Fuel K O M King of the Mountain Fuel, um, and uh, Tri Coach John is the discount code, and they sell individual um, bars, sachets, chews, jellies, all other bits and pieces. If you want to have a little look um, for your sports nutrition. So London Marathon is closely associated with LucasAid. So LucasAid do all their little bits and pieces and they've got gels and chews, like jelly beans and stuff, um, and a whole variety of options. Um, I personally enjoy um, the Power Bar brand and the Power Bar products. They are professionally made. Uh, the carbohydrates are designed to be absorbed into the body quickly. Um, they're a clean product. Um, I don't want to get too much into uh, an argument about the differences of jelly babies and um, jelly beans and other things and whether they're made with animal products and um, other stuff that way. All I have found is that if I've used those in the past, they give me a massive sugar peak and then a massive sluggish kind of drop off as my body tries to process the, what they're made from so you get a good percentage possibly feel like some energy um, but I definitely feel a peak in the sugars and a significant drop and then a kind of sluggish curve as I come out the other side um, where the difference of taking um, a gel that's been professionally designed um, I take that and I can feel the energy passing into my body and available within my muscle groups um, the, the C2 Max process of, of how they get those carbohydrates through the body systems and, and into where the body needs it to use it for energy, I can personally feel the difference and, and I don't question it. For the gents, for the football lovers out there, if I said Liverpool Football Club are um, sponsored and in a nutrition association with, with Liverpool, and how they've won the league and, and, and the trophies that they won last season. And one of the main reasons to review and, and take from that is that a lot of their success came from a latter part of each game, which then shows you that their energy levels and their nutrition levels are um, at an optimum to make sure they're performing where other people are then starting to drop off. So something to consider. Um, so cool, hopefully um, I've given you an idea of how to prepare for, for, for the run. Um, anything less than an hour, um, I wouldn't necessarily say you need to take anything on the run. Um, once you start doing your long runs on, on a weekend, then you can consider a gel every 40 minutes. Excuse me, you could consider um, whether it is um, the shots, um, cliff shots um, some people like them some people don't I personally like them on the bike um, but I can't run breathe and eat shots at the same time um, little pieces in my mouth as I'm trying to do that just don't work for me and it's all trial and error it's all personal hence the reason there's so many available which is why I've um, spoken with James at Confuel and said that I'd like to suggest the audience goes to him is because you can then choose to go on and buy some a one cliff bar because you like raspberry um you might go and buy an sis gel because it's lemon and lime zest um and then you might go and try some lucas aid beans as well and you can buy individuals comes in a lovely little box that comes through your leather box very very easy very swift um fantastic uh, gentleman and company and uh, and it works so before you then have before you look to buy a box of 12, 16, 24 bars, gels or or bags of jelly beans, um, you can buy individuals and then try them and say, actually, I like that one, I don't like that one. Or, yeah, maybe. And then you can then go back and buy a box um, and then enjoy those and next time look for a different flavour or possibly a different brand and, and, and try them around instead of just going for that one particular brand itself. Um, the amount of people that have asked me about protein powders, spent £50 on a tub 
had one scoop out of it and said, I don't like that. He says chocolate on the tub, but I don't know any chocolate that tastes like that. And and that's that's one of the beauties of all of the different brands is it all comes down to flavour, taste, texture, different... Um, everybody's different and therefore it won't all appeal to everybody so um i personally don't like high five gels i find them very very watery um and then if i try and open them they just pop open on my hands and my hands are sticky forever and it just in a mouth and it just drives me nuts it's it just absolutely crazy um i do like the power gels um i'll i'll cover caffeine on a different chat i think because this is a little bit basic for, for caffeine. Um, but I, I like the power gels. Um, I like the fact that you tear the top and it's still connected. So then you don't litter. Um, and then you can just squeeze it up and use it as much as possible. And I like the consistency. It's not fair to say it's like toothpaste. Um, because people go, oh, I don't really want to eat toothpaste while I'm running. But it's not watery. It's a little bit more puree, if that's the right phrase. And again, that's why I encourage you to, to try some and try different ones. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll find out then what works for you. Be it SIS gel, be it Power Bar, um, be it Cliff, uh, be it Goo. Um, and there's there's a whole whole variety of them. Um, I really like uh, Bonoffi and I think Talk do an amazing Bonoffi one. Um, so yeah, there's whichever whichever flavours you like. One word of caution is if you are going to go, um, you go. Oh, I love Banoffee. I'm going to buy it, and then you go and buy seventy two um, sachets. By the end of it, you'll be pretty much fed up. So flavour fatigue is something to consider when you're doing some purchases. Um, so yeah, but rehearse, 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 and you'll only find out what works for you by actually doing those rehearsals. Um, and it, and it's, it's not a problem if you need to, to, to tweak it and adjust it and, and change it, so yeah. So if there's any questions, pop them in the box below. We'll answer those. I'll put in the uh, the Confuel link. Um, Try Coach John gets you 15% off. Um, and uh, have a little look, have a little shop and, and buy yourself some bits and try those. Try and run with them. Try them for race day, get ready, have a little look. Um, and uh, enjoy Strictly, and uh, I'll look forward to speaking to you next week. Take care.